what is important here and we must do as you can see the entity has exactly the same uh, name as the table does users but uh, when I need an object I want to call it a singular it's not uh, sound it doesn't sound very good to say uh, uh, users when I talk about a single user as an object so for this we will just rename it here to singular user and uh, at the properties window the entity set name where, where when we where we we'll have many users sorry about that I'm uh, a little tired we'll just uh, make it a plural okay let me just save everything So now we have entities, we got uh, connections between layers and now we start, we need to start doing some real programming. Uh, we will start with the data access layer because it's the ground level. Uh, I'll just delete this one. In uh, data access layer we we'll need to have a class for each entity we want to use each class will have its uh, particular uh, methods uh, used to access data to write it back uh, delete it and so on uh, for this we will create a new we'll add a new class and uh, we'll name it user d o uh, DO comes from a uh, data object, it's not uh, an uh, obligation to, to give names like this, but it's simpler to use. And here it creates... Uh, what this, uh, this user do method should have? Uh, imagine you are typing a username, you are pressing the login button and you need to see if the uh, user name in the text box uh, exists in the database so basically this uh, class will have a uh, method get user which by using a link you to entity will search for the particular user I'll just uh, copy the content of the class because I want to write it all Okay, as you can see, we are using the entity framework project. It will be a public class, not as a static one. Uh, and we'll have this method get user, which will return an user object. And it will, it will have a parameter as username. So we simply create a new object of uh, Noia DB entities and we will return a user found if we will try to search for a user ID equal to username sent by the parameter this doesn't sound really good but that is the parameter and we will return the first or default this means it will uh, if we have the user it will return it the first either way will return now so basically this is all we have to to do in data access layer let me just save this uh, in order in order to be able to use and entities we must add reference to the project to system data entities uh, and uh, we need to do this in each layer so here we'll add the reference to data entity here we'll add it here we'll add it I hope I did it all right as uh, maybe you would uh, expect we won't be calling this 
method from the UE layer from the user interface because uh, we need to have uh, validations maybe as we will see in the next tutorial or we'll just uh, what I'm trying to say is what I've said before the UE layer never accesses the DAL la layer and in this case to be able to get the user here to the user interface we will need to use the business logic layer so we'll just get back here I'll just delete this and I will add another class a brand new class called uh, user business subject user bio and this will have the following code it's it has the same uh, name of the me method because it's easier to to have uh, the same name it's easier to use it you are referring always to the same method if you talk about uh, DAL or if you talk about BLL it's a I really recommend using the same name it has the same parameters as in DAL but this simply create a object instance of the user DO in the data access layer and returns it its result by the get user method here as a recap user do is this one created before in DAL here uh, you could have validations like uh, if the username is not uh, it's empty or it's null you could uh, throw an error and basically this is what business logic layer will have it, it will have business rules this is very important to retain it will be presented in the next tutorial and with this we can say that the second layer it's completed and uh, we can move on to the next uh, layer the user interface